Hi everybody, I'm Dan Joseph with MRC TV. This week, President Obama finally made a nomination to fill Antonin Scalia's seat on the Supreme Court. Today we're in downtown Washington, D.C., and we're going to find out what, if anything, people know about this particular judge. Have you been following President Obama, Supreme Court nomination? Yes. What do you know about him? Um, I know he's Jewish. <laughs> That's true. I heard uh, that he nominated a uh, veteran from the uh, Court of, uh, of Appeals. Do you know his name? Uh, no. Uh, judge Reinhold? Okay. All rise for acting's highest honor, Judge Reinhold. Judge Reinhold is neither a real judge nor has he received acting's highest honor. Sorry, do you know his name? Um, I can't think of his Reinhold, name. Reinhold, Judge Reinhold. Can I help you? What do you think about President Obama's nomination of Judge Reinhold to the Supreme Court? Um, I think it's a great nomination. Do you think Judge Reinhold would do a good job as Supreme Court Justice? Um, uh, based on what I, information that I have, yes, I do. Do you, do you support Judge Reinhold uh, being on the Supreme Court? Sure. I mean, well, I support President Obama and his decision, so I don't have an issue with it. Don't worry. I'm not like the others. What do you think about his nomination of Judge Reinhold to the Supreme Court this week? I think it's pretty smart. Have you heard about Reinhold's controversial yeah. decision in the case of Fast Times versus Ridgemont High? No. Oh, okay. Learn it. Know it. Live it. It's a very, very important decision. He ruled that stupid people should not be allowed to vote. Uh, Spicoli versus Hand, have you heard about this one? Uh, can you remind me? Mr. Spicoli. That's the name they gave me. Yes, it's, he actually uh, ruled that people of lower intelligence should not be allowed to vote. It's like an IQ level, I think, that it's based on, not like just, you know, if I think you're stupid. <laughs> Jesus. I, I don't think that I would hold one decision or, you know, that against someone in, in a way to say that they're not qualified for a very high-level position. Yeah. Do you think his past work with the Beverly Hills Police Department will help him make, in making decisions? Yes. You think so? What, they promote you to captain or something? I'm DDOJSIOC. But I mean, do you think his work in the Beverly Hills Police Department will give him a little bit more knowledge, a little bit more insight? Be quiet and don't move. I think that that's a, a good thing to bring to the table. Now, have you ever heard of the case of a Spicoli versus Ridgemont High? It was a very controversial case where it was decided that schools have the right to prohibit students from bringing food into the school from outside of the school. It had to do with the pizza. Four of the deviled cheese and sausage. Right here, dude. It depends. I mean... And he wasn't going to share either. Okay, well. Front. Mr. Spicoli has been kind enough to bring us a snack. And be my guest. Help yourselves. Get a good one. Have you ever had like a pizza delivered to your school? Mm, have we? I don't think so. Okay. I don't think we were allowed to have food. They, that was all because of that was all because of this court case, probably. <laughs> Should the student be forced to share if he paid for the pizza himself? Probably not. Okay. I think that's I think that's totally reasonable. <laughs> Do you think that controversial decision will will hurt him in terms of getting through the Senate? I don't think so because I'm sure that everybody that's on the uh, Supreme Court has had their hand in some type of controversial um, uh, decision. He has that, had his hand in a lot of controversial decisions, okay. including the Mr. Hand decision. Okay. Have you heard about Reinhold's controversial no. decision in the case of Fast Times versus Ridgemont High? No. You haven't heard of that one? <laughs> Is that, that's a movie. Yes, what that's a movie. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. No, I was, just, I was just kidding with you. Looks like we've got a mistrial. 